How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Studio 42. Today's tutorial is a fun one for me as I love typography. And PowerPoint has some pretty cool features that let you create exciting typography for your presentations. It's super easy to do and keeps your text editable. So let's get to it. The first technique we'll be learning today is how to add flat shadows to our text. This will be the base technique that we will use in all our further text effects. And just so you can practice, I'll be adding the same file as a download. Let's start by changing the background of our slide. Now let's add a text box. And let's change the color of our text as well. There. Now we're ready to add shadows to this. So in the format shape, instead of shape options, go to text options and under that go to text effects. Here we have the 3D format and 3D rotation options. First let's go to 3D rotation and select the preset of oblique bottom right. Having done that, let's go up to 3D format. Under 3D format, go to the depth and change the depth size to 1584. Immediately you see the drop down shadow appear. Change the color of your shadow to slightly darker than that of your background. You do that by going to more colors and using the slider. In the materials tab, go and select matte and under the lighting tab, go to special and select flat. And that's it. In under a minute, we've learned how to create flat shadows on our text. Now let's move on to our second technique of creating this really cool graffiti look right here in PowerPoint. So once again let's start a new blank slide and start by changing our background color. Let's add our text box. Select your text box and copy paste it and move one of the copies to the bottom. Let's go back to the original text box and fill it with a gradient. Now this has picked up my pre-selected gradients but I've also provided the colors here on the side so that it's easier for you to practice with. Now let's go to our second copy and Go to format and remove the text fill but let's add a text outline to this. Make this outline as thick as you want. In this I've made it about 15 points thick. Select both your text boxes and align them to the middle. Take the outline text box right click and send to back. Now we have a great outline around our main text. Go back to text options, text effects, go to 3D rotation and this time let's do oblique top left, go to 3D format and add a white depth to it. Change the material once again to matte and the lighting to flat and then play with the depth a little bit which gives a white shadow around the text. And there we go. In a really short time 
we've created this really cool graffiti look. Let's move on to technique number three, which is 3D text with an outline. So, once again, as you might be used to by now, let's change our background color and add our text. As we did previously, let's duplicate this text box and keep the second text box aside. Let's change the color of our main font. And now let's go to text options and text effects, 3D rotation and once again oblique bottom right. Then go to 3D format. Change your depth color to match that of the font. Go to more colors and make the depth color a little lighter than what we have on our fonts. Then increase the depth size to roughly say 120. And material to matte and lighting to flat. And that's it. Our 3D lettering is ready. Now let's get go to the text box that we copied earlier and add a text outline to it and remove the text fill. You can change the weight of the outline and then adjust it right over your font and with your arrow keys move it slightly out of sync. There we go. That was pretty easy. On to technique number four, where we're using multiple gradients to create a 3D effect. So let's see how this is done. Once you have your text box ready, let's apply the same method we've learned in all the previous examples. In 3D rotation this time, let's try oblique bottom left instead of right. Oh, I forgot to change the text color, so let's change that also once. There we go. Let's go to 3D format and in the depth, let's pick up the color of our background and the depth size, let's make it roughly 50. And as always, material to matte and lighting to flat. And your depth color, go to more colors and make the slider slightly lighter than our background color. There we go. Now copy this text box twice. Let's go to the top one and in our depth color, let's make this color even lighter than what we created earlier. And in our final copy, let's go to the depth color and make it the lightest. Make sure your original font is on the top. So let's right click and bring it to front. Then drag copy number two right under it and using your arrow keys adjust it so the yellow of that font disappears and only the depth is visible then make sure copy number three is right at the very back and once again using your arrow keys adjust it so the yellow text disappears and only the gradient is visible voila Moving on to technique number five, which is bevel text with 3D colors. Let's start by changing our background once again and adding our text box. Once your text box is ready, make two copies of it 
and move the copies off to one side. In your original text box, go to Text Options and under Text Effects, go to Top Bevel and select the Angle option. Change your font color. Let's zoom in and you can see the text has been beveled. Now under the width, keep increasing the width until these two lines start overlapping with each other. And there we have our front layer ready. Let's zoom back out and go to our next box. Under 3D rotation, let's give it an oblique angle and go up to 3D format. Let's change this text color as well. Add a depth color to the text and make the size roughly around 50. Material goes to matte and lighting goes to flat. Now, take this text box and send it to back right behind our original text box and using your arrow keys align it. Let's do the same with the remaining text box. And move this to the back as well. And that's our 3D bevel text. On to our final technique, which is 3D two-tone text. Now this technique uses different methods from what we've already seen. So let's see how we created this. Let's start with the usual. First, let's see how we create the two-tone text fill. Let's go to text options and go to gradient fill. Now this has already picked up what I created earlier. In your gradient stops, fill in the two colors that you need and then bring each stop to the center of the slider and overlap the two stops. This immediately creates a sharp demarcation between the two colors. You can use the angle to change how the colors interact with the text. Having done that, let's go to the text effect option. In under 3D rotation, instead of using the oblique effects that we've been using till now, let's put in perspective left and then go to 3D format and add a depth of about 60. There's no need to change the depth color in this if you don't want to. Make the material matte, but instead of our flat lighting, this time let's use two-point lighting. And there we go. Within seconds, we have our 3D two-tone text ready. And these are six super easy typography effects for you to experiment with. This technique can be used with any font and color combination. So go ahead, download the practice file, drop us a like, and as always, keep on creating.